Valerie, and today we're going to meet my personal doll army. <laughs> I should first tell you the story of how they came to be called my personal doll army. A lot of these were missing for over 10 years. What happened was the ones that had stayed in my room in my parents' house after I moved out, when they moved to their new house, went missing. Nobody knew what had happened to them for over 10 years. Uh, a friend of my brother's had been helping them move and they thought that maybe a box fell off the back of his pickup truck driving to the new house. It was a whole big thing. It made me sad. It made my mom sad because it was all of my childhood collection, including the ones that had been hers when she was a kid, including the one that she had made for me for my 18th birthday that I had barely gotten to enjoy. And then they went into the attic and got out the cradle that my dad had made by hand, woodworking, uh, before my brother was born to see if he wanted to use it for his firstborn, my niece. And lo and behold, there in the great big box with the cradle were the dolls. And I came home one day and there's these two enormous boxes from my mother. What on earth? And I opened them up and it's the dolls. She didn't tell me, she sent them as a surprise. And so I took them out and I got all excited because I hadn't seen them in so long and I lined them up in the living room and I thought, my God, I have my own personal doll army. And from then on, that has been what my collection is called. From the time that I was seven, I had collector dolls and play dolls and I had to keep them separated and the collector dolls as you can see I no longer keep them behind glass which you know I'm sure coll some collectors will say that I probably should but it's just not practical with my house I want them out where people can see them can enjoy them can be creeped out by them your mileage may vary I am told that this room is very creepy the exceptions I have two that were play dolls when I was little Nelly and Tiger Lily here were my play dolls among my play dolls when I was little and I think, I think Tiger Lily's hair started out longer. I had a tendency to give my dolls haircuts. How Nellie here managed to survive with her little curly pigtails intact, and I really need to put new bows on her pigtails, I have no idea. Um, she, I think maybe just because I got her when I was a little older, she came from a church carnival when I was seven and we were staying with my grandparents before we moved to England. Tiger Lily I've had since I was very, very small. I think I've had her since I was about four and I did play with her so she's very lucky that she stayed really nice I think also just because I really liked her and wanted her to be pretty so I was careful about how I played with her unlike some of my other dolls that are no longer with us also technically one of my play dolls although this is not the original one that I had is baby Chrissy I got baby Chrissy for Christmas when I was a year old my original baby Chrissy I think maybe got sold at a garage sale? I can't remember. And I had a bout of terrible nostalgia um, right around the time that eBay was new. And I said, okay, people can find these magical collector's things on eBay. Let's see if I can find a baby Chrissy just like the one I had. And it took me a very short time to find her. She was from the same year. She had the same little pink outfit that's put away right now. The dress that she's wearing right now was actually one that I wore when I was a baby. Her hair actually still works. Pull very carefully because I don't want it to suddenly stop working. You can see, I'm not going to pull it all the way in, but you can see you can actually pull it in so that she has short hair all the way around. And then you pull it back out. These two dolls were the ones, I think, that broke our hearts the most when all of my dolls were missing um, because they belonged to my mom when she was a little girl. This is Rita Jane. She was one that my mom found at a rummage sale when she was about 10 and she said she just fell in love with her. And this is Pocahontas. Pocahontas is not the original Pocahontas. Apparently the original Pocahontas was a quote-unquote Indian doll, a little Native American doll that my mom got on vacation. And when she was about 12, basically, she had loved that doll to death. Or as I like to say, loved her till she was real. And she kind of fell apart. She was, you know, a plastic 50s 
little souvenir doll. And around that time, this doll uh, someone gave to my grandmother and she then gave to my mom as a new Pocahontas. And both of these girls are composition. They've both got some wear on them, especially Rita Jane here. My mom has wanted for years to actually find a doll hospital and get Rita Jane restored. And I'm going to feel really weird about it because she's always looked like this. And I've always loved her this way. This is a Ginny doll that my best friend Jody bought for me when we were in college. And uh, I had a character in our shared world writing group at that time who in fact was named Janari. She was kind of based on, inspired by uh, the character of Star in The Lost Boys. So she had long curly dark hair and a very flamboyant kind of fashion sense. And so we saw this little lady in a store one day when we were shopping in college and Jody just knew that she had to be my little Ginny. In fact, Janari's nickname was Ginny. My first collector doll, I think is probably true of a lot of people, that um, a lot of people start with a Madame Alexander, specifically the Madame Alexander Gone with the Wind dolls, of course, what the line is very famous for. I got her when I was seven. I've never actually brushed her hair out because I love the little curls at the bottom. I just recently, again, um, washed her dress in wool light because it was getting a little dingy and it's cotton so I can do that. When I finally saw the movie, I was very confused that when Scarlett wears this costume on the porch, the bows in her hair and her sash are actually red. This traditional Nell China doll I actually got as a kit, I think for Christmas when I was about eight. And I put together her body and sewed her head and her hands and her feet onto the little stuffed cloth body and I made her dress out of a dress of mine and I think I made her clothes when I was about 12. Um, they were made from a pattern that came with the doll kit. You know, I had a sewing machine, I knew how to sew on the sewing machine, but at the time um, the idea of sewing anything that tiny on a sewing machine was just too daunting so I stitched it all by hand. It was easier. And her, her sash is actually a ribbon, hair ribbon that I had at the time. <laughs>